Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I have just got home from work and I've got some paperwork and bits to sort out but I thought I would just jump on here quickly to show you um, a few of the number seven lipsticks that I have as I haven't got anything on. Um, wow my nails look hella dark. Dark? Bright. In this light. Jesus. Look at them next to Salem. That is crazy. Anyway, um, yeah, I just thought I would show you some of the... <laughs> okay, I'm just going to add this in really quickly before I carry on. He was sat on the chair a minute ago um, before I decided to start filming. And I sat down on him and he yelped. Like, I mean, he was like crying. Um, I didn't realise I was that heavy, but apparently my weight on a cat... Ain't the best thing in the world. Sorry about that, mate. I didn't mean to hurt you. To be fair, he shouldn't have been sitting in my chair, so it is his fault. But anyway, um, yeah, so I thought I would just show you quickly what the number seven lipsticks, or the ones that I have, what they look like. Um, I have got a few here. Um, two of them are like a glossy kind of thing. The only thing I'm really upset about is I cannot find that shade that I talked about in another video, which is called gay geranium um it's the bright coral i can't find it anywhere i don't know what i've done with it so i can't show you that one but when i get it again if i ever find mine i'll show you um so the first color that i'm going to show you i'm going to use this to hold up to my face because i can't do it like this i might i might be able to we'll try um the first one that i'm going to show you i'll do these ones first these ones are the I hate this word moisture drench um lipsticks so i've got three here but i know i have definitely got more somewhere else um that's the packaging that they come in it's quite smart just quite simple really um i have shown you two of these shades before actually the honey bloom and the highland mist they're like those purpley but fairly nude kind of tones so i'm not going to show you those again because i've already done it oh no hold on I'm, I don't know what I've shown you now. That's Desert Rose. I can't remember if I showed you that one. I think I've shown you that in another kind of lipstick. Um, so I'm going to just leave those actually. Um, and if I've got time, maybe go back to the end. I think it might have been this that I showed you before. This is the um, Matte Lip Crayon. And that is in Desert Rose as well. I'll swatch that for you. You can see that there. That's just like a pinky nude. Very easy to wear. Um, I'll show you this first. This is one of the number seven lip balms. I just chose this in the colour Parisian Pink. I have showed you this before, but I don't think I put it on. You can't really see. I mean, it's just a lip balm. Like, it's just going to be a little bit of colour. I say a little bit of colour. That actually looks quite dark. You can see it quite well there, actually. But it just gives you like a nice little touch of colour, especially if you don't want anything like um, as heavy as a lipstick. Like this is a really light lip balm, so that's quite nice. I have just realised though, I haven't actually brought anything to wipe my lipstick off to then move on to the next one. So if you just bear with me for a minute, I'll go and get a cotton pad to take this off to show you the next one. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I've just got some boots, cotton wool pads and some... What is this called? Oh, the Garnier Skin Active um, Micellar, like the Milky Cleanser. Um, as you can see, I don't like. I don't use this very often. I used to use it quite a lot, um, but I think that was before I started working for Number Seven, so I don't use it as much now. Um, but if I like really need to use something, then I will use this because it is nice. Um, it is for sensitive skin. This one, so it's still pretty good for me, and it takes this off pretty well. I hate taking my makeup off on the camera because it just... You do funny faces when you take your makeup off. Like, it just looks weird. <laughs> Done. Now they just need to be triple the size and I'll be happy. Anyway. The next thing I'm going to show you is a little bit darker. This is a little bit more extreme. Um, this is the Matte Liquid Lips in the colour... Conquer. Not like a conquer. Like to conquer. Am I saying that right? 
conquer. Conquer? Conquer. Conquer. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to show you this. This is quite dark. And that is a mess. I'm just going to stick it in my face and show you. Bear with. This is so dirty. Ew. I mean, like, jam donut alert. Done. No, I'm joking. That would look just, can you imagine? Look how flat my lip looks. <laughs> New. Alright. This is a really, really dark shade, so if it goes wrong, it looks horrible. Ah. Uh. Okay, so there is a little bit of a mistake there, so I'm not going to show you too closely because I'm just showing you the colours, like I'm not going out like this. Um, but how well does this go with my nails? Perfect. Done. Anyway, that's what the colour looks like. It looks really bright in this, um, and I suppose it is quite, yeah, it's quite a bright shade, really. But it's really pretty. Um, depending on who you are, you might not wear this. Is that on my teeth? No. You might not wear this every day. Um, I mean, I would. I like wearing dark purples um, just in the daytime sometimes. But this is the shade. It's really... It looks more red on me, actually. Um, well, than I think it's supposed to be. Because when you look at the packaging, I mean, like, there's a redness to it, obviously, but it doesn't look that red. But it does on my lips. Anyway, I'm digging it. I like the colour. So let me just take this off and then we'll move on to mm. Mm. Oh, something else. Can you imagine if this didn't come off and then the whole video was ruined? <laughs> That'd be funny, wouldn't it? No, no, Phoebe, it wouldn't. It's just like I'm wishing that for myself now. While I'm taking this off, I'm just going to tell you about my day. So I, today, went over to the Letchworth store. People that don't know, that is just another town near uh, where I live. Kind of near where I live. Um, I went over there to learn a little bit... <gasps> Look at that. To learn a little bit more about um, how to like order certain things for number seven. Um, so I learned from this girl that has worked for Boots for like years. Um, and then I had to park to go to this store. I had to park in a multi-storey. I'm, I have really bad experience with the multi-story, like, real bad. Um, so, it always ends in, like, me scraping my car or something. And I got in my car to go home, or to go back to, like, my store. And I thought, do you know what? I've done really well not to hit anything. I was really proud of myself. Started eating a, um, like, protein bar thing on the way home. Well, as I was, like, slowly reversing out of the car parking space. And then uh, looked that way... And then kind of like glimpsed that way, but didn't didn't really look properly. And then as I turned my head back, there was like a massive crunch. And I had taken my wing mirror, not off, but it was hanging, it is now hanging by like the little wire on the inside. I'll upload a picture here for you so you can see. Um, but yeah, it's now hanging. Like it proper, it's like nearly off. Like if that wire just split, then I'd have no wing mirror. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I feel like maybe... Very thick black tape is the answer. Because I'm not buying a new wing mirror right now. I ain't got money for that. It ain't happening. Anyway. Um, the next colour I'm going to show you. I just thought I'd like to tell you about that. Because it's just a bit of a shitty thing that happened today. Just to, you know, make you all laugh. Um, this here is the next one. So these are the um, Stay Perfect lipsticks. You can see they're in a different casing. And this is in... Dark Berry. Now this is a shade that I love. Love it. Um, I wore this quite a lot towards the end of last year. I'm just going to show you. Oh, it's just a dark purple. But it's so nice. Mm. You definitely need to line your lips with this. Okay. I'm not going to do it properly. I'm just going to show you like... 
roughly what it looks like but that is the color there it's just so so nice and so easy to wear i would definitely wear this on a daily basis 100 percent. my lips are so tiny that's the only thing that annoys me about lipstick is i realize how small my lips actually are and it really bugs me um because i definitely want fillers at some point <laughs> i've got money for that one i can't even afford a flipping wing mirror but it will happen but anyway yeah so that is the um stay perfect um dark berry lipstick by number seven my teeth look quite quite good like that sorry um these all these lipsticks by the way that are either in the black casing or in the silver casing like i just showed you they're all 10 pounds and they still have 25 percent off at the moment uh until the 14th of january yeah anyone like this like um little look going on here pink bottom lip yes very nice what the hell is that oh great i've got a flipping lump on my face now I don't know where that came from. Bitch of the beard. Okay. Stay with it, feeds. Stay with it. So what happens when you've had like a bit of a crazy day, start losing the will to live. I mean, that looks awful, but you know, never mind. The next colour I'm going to show you is... This is actually, okay, I've lost like lots of lipsticks. So I don't know where they've all gone. This is um, the Stay Perfect, but it's the, does it say on here? Hold up. Sheer Temptation. That's what it is. It's a bit more glossy, um, but it's still a lipstick. But this is in like a purpley shade as well, which I don't think you actually be able to see. Oh yeah, you can. Yeah. It doesn't look that purple on my lips, actually. Oh no, it does. But that's what it looks like. It's got a nice shimmer to it. Um, again, a bit like the balm, if you don't want to wear anything too heavy. Um, excuse my room, it's a mess. Um, then you could put something like this on, um, or that balm. Just for a bit of like extra colour. Oh my god, it's on my teeth. There you go. Done! Um, so that is, yeah, that's the Sheer Temptation. I think that is the only one that I have of the Sheer Temptation um, range. So let me just take this off. My poor lips. Oh, maybe they'll look bigger after this. Because I've been rubbing them so much. Grow! <laughs> oh my god. This video is like something that someone would keep as like a blooper. It's just so spacco of me. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> anyway, right, the next thing I'm going to show you is just the two glosses actually that I've got. These two here. So this one is the number seven high shine lip gloss in the color pink slip. And this one is the Stay Perfect Lip Lacquer in the shade Desert Rose. Yes, I have got three lipsticks in the shade Desert, Desert Rose. Um, the first one was obviously like the Moisture Drench. Ugh. Then the Lip Crayon and now this. The shades look different in every single product. I have no idea why. Um, they just, none of them look the same. So you put this bit on first and then you put the um, clear on top. So I'll show you this one first actually, but I don't think I'll put the clear on because I just want you to be able to see the shade for now. But you'll see like what, like it pretty much is my lip colour. Wow, I never noticed that. These smell so good. Like a little bit chocolatey. Mmm. <laughs> I'm losing my shit. Uh, yeah, they do smell like chocolate though. That is some good stuff. All right, you know what? I actually really like this shade. You can't, I don't want to show you the face that I'm doing underneath this, so I'm just gonna. Can you guess? <laughs> okay. That is the Desert Rose. 
a lot of people like this colour just because of how easy it actually is to wear. I wonder if I can, I'm just going to move you. I wonder if you can see this properly. No. So it's just a really, really nice, like, nudey pink kind of shade. Um, but definitely more natural than some of the others. Like, this is a lot lighter. I will put the lacquer on top, just so you can see it. I don't normally use this, because I don't like it being like... You know, when you, the wind blows and your hair gets stuck to your face. I don't really like that. But that's not going out anywhere. It doesn't really matter. Uh -huh. That actually smells really good as well. That's like chocolatey and that's a bit like vanilla-y. Mmm. How did I not know that? But yeah, so that just gives it a little bit more shine, holds it on for a little bit longer. Um, and again, just a really nice natural kind of tone. Beautiful. Thoroughly impressed with the brand that I work for. Okay, so I've just taken that lip lacquer off, um, even though it doesn't really look... Oh my God, it doesn't even look like I've taken it off. I'm stuck like this forever. <laughs> Luckily it doesn't look that bad to be fair. So, you know, it could be worth it. The next thing I want to show you, which is actually the last lipstick for some goddamn reason, because I can't find the bloody rest of them. This is the last one. This is another one of those uh, lip crayons, but this is actually in a color that I can get on board with. And it is called Tickle. How cute is that? Let me just show you what this looks like. I love a coral lipstick. Like I love a coral lipstick. Not so much in the winter times, but in the summer, I will rock a coral lipstick every day. It is my favorite. Mm. The, sh the tone is not really showing up very well on this because of that uh, lip lacquer stuff. Can't really like see it that well. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, okay. I just, just kind of drew well over my face. Mmm. Still good. Okay, so. Mm -mm -mm. If only they were this big. Mm. Okay, not like that. That looks a bit gross. Mm. So this is the colour that this comes out with. It's just like a really light, kind of like peachy, apricot-y kind of colour. Mm. I forgot how much I like this colour. Okay, my hair. <laughs> Be stuck goes kind of nice with it no it doesn't um i really like this shade do you ever do that like you put a lipstick on don't wear it for months and then you forget that you actually really like it so that is the um high shine lip crayon in the color tickle isn't that the cutest name for the cutest color ever anyway I'm actually going to put this on top because the colours actually go really well together because this is called Pink Slip, but to me that is a peach slip, not pink. Um, so I'm just going to put some of this over the top of this tickle so you can see what it's all about. Mm. This smells good too. Oh, fruity. Mm. Am I not remembering any of this? Oh my god. Mm -mm. Okay, so that is Tickle with Pink Slip put on top and it is banging. I'm so happy with these shades. Like that goes a little bit better on my nails as well. Do you know what? I might rock these colours tomorrow. I feel like these are good Saturday vibes. Yeah, look at that little. Mm. 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 That's like that sassy lip you see on you know like when they're doing like really like serious makeup modeling and they got that little like thing going on that little lip back that's what that is no i can't do it i just look like i'm so completely losing my shit i'm just gonna have some tea and sharp a bit of asmr there i don't slurp like that by the way that was purely for the video um <clears throat> so yeah that is the few shades that i have from number seven I really can't find my other ones. I have no idea where they've gone. So when I find them, I'll include them in another video. I won't just do another video for like three lipsticks because that would be stupid. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would show you a few. Ooh. 
No, looking like Florence Nightingale going on here. Um, yeah, I thought I would just show you a few of the colours. I'm really feeling this though. Like for reals. This is nice. So again, just so you remember, tickle with pink, not pink, because it's not pink, but it is called pink slip on top. Makes a banging summer lip. Just need like a little bit of, oh, I don't know. I'm just going to do something tomorrow to my face, include this, and then uh, see how I get on. But I am real feeling the little, oh, look, that is nice. I'd also, as I finish being an idiot now, just like to do a little shout out to Jessica Rose, who I know um, from working together from a while ago. Um, but she has also just started off um, a YouTube channel. Um, I think it's Jessica Rose. I think that's what she's called it, yeah. Um, and she's just done her first video today um, about a Ted Baker palette. A few palettes, actually, I think. So have a little look at Jess's channel. Um, show some support. Give her, a, you know, a few thumbs up and a little comment and a subscribe. She's a lovely girl. And um, I think it's because she saw me doing the YouTube videos and then said that it'd be something she wanted to do. So she started doing it. Um, and if you do check out, I can't remember her Instagram name. It will be Jessica Rose something. I can't remember, but it's on that video. Um, but check out her Instagram because I'm sure she's got some makeup looks on there that are incredible. Um, like really, really good makeup. Like I think she just is naturally good with makeup. Um, and that is hard to come by. Because, I mean, look at my eyebrows. This just... I need Jess's help. Um... But yeah, just have a little look at her channel, check out her Instagram, have a little look, um, give her a like, subscribe. She's a, do you know what I mean? When I'm a new YouTuber as well, and I think it would be nice to show support for the new ones. Um, just because we're new, you know, be nice to us people. We need support. But yeah, give Jess a little um, look at. And for now, I am going to let you go and stop being a mug in front of the camera. Um, I will think of something better to do another video. Like I said, I'll come home. I'm in my dressing gown. I'm eating these... These... Um, what are they called? Hershey's cookies and cream thing. Do you want me to just show you? Let me just... One second. Mmm! Can you... <laughs> They're so good. They're a pound from B&M. If you want a new snack... This probably sounds really disgusting on camera. I'm so sorry. If you want a new snack, something to dunk in your tea, something to just get fat on, whatever, get some of them. Cookies and cream biscuits. I don't know. I've just got a tray here. There's only two left because I ate them all. Um, but check them out. They are good. And they're only a pound, so you know, like, just buy them. Well, so anyway, I will see you soon, guys. Hopefully, I'll check in tomorrow. Not sure yet. Don't know what I'm doing. Yes, I do. I'm going to work. I'm going to work. Don't know what I'm going to do after that, though. So you just have to wait and see. For now, goodbye. And have a lovely day tomorrow. Hope you've enjoyed me messing around with lipsticks as well. If you haven't, drop a comment down below and tell me why. I mean, you know, each to their own. It's fine. You don't want to see me mucking around putting lipstick on my face. Can't see why, to be honest, because I think that's amazing. Um, but if you haven't enjoyed it, then tell me. If you have, then tell me. Thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you like me. That would be amazing. But for the time being, I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.